welcome back now queens to the april cards pit collab video so if you missed last month's card pits collab i picked out cards from the isabel may Sartiz deck which is the artist deck from dr prince and co every single month i do a collab and people submit their entries based on the cards that i pick for the collab so this month I'm going to do their new deck, which is their spring deck. And I also have the little pastels deck. Ooh, I'm so excited. First of all, I've been obsessed with mushrooms lately. So the fact that there's mushrooms in this, like the artwork and everything, I'm so excited about it. But I don't want to make the intro too long. I want to get ahead straight into picking the art theme and the color palette for you guys. So I've got art theme, I've got color palette. There's not a lot of color palette cards in this expansion pack, which I think I like because I love the diversity in the art theme the most. And since I'm picking a color palette from the pastels pack, I feel like if you don't like this color palette, you can switch it out for this one. But before I get into picking the cards for the April collab, I need to pick a winner for the March collab. So this was a theme. It was paint strokes, delicate dried flowers, and sunset moon. So I'm going to look up all the uh, images. I found seven entries total from Instagram and my Facebook group. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So what I do is I take a random generator, I go to random.org and I put in the number from one and seven and I hit generate and it randomly picks a number. So I don't pick based on like a favorite or anything. I try to make it very, very fair. So the winner is number six. So remember this was the seventh entry. So the sixth entry is Sarah Kirkpatrick Vaught. Congrats Sarah for winning the March Manny collab. And I absolutely adore her Manny. So the prize I've been doing is somebody gets to pick whatever design set they want from my website, which is at Color Me Carol on Instagram or Color Me carol.com so if you guys want to win a design set press on set prize enter every single month but sarah's manny is so cute i love that she picked yellow yellow has been a very favorite color for me this spring so to get into the april selection now all right getting straight into this part where i'm picking out the color palette for this month um let's pick out the center card i'm gonna pick this one Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. We went with green. All right. That's interesting. Subtle spring. It's funny because I've been using green a lot in my sets. So you've got some green. There's a little bit of lavender in there. Um, and if you want to throw in some orange. So that is the color theme. Um, let's pick out the art theme from the deck. I'm just going to randomly shuffle these. All right, um, I'm gonna pick this one. All right, so let's see what that is. <gasps> in a bunny! Oh, this is so perfect for Easter too. Oh man, I'm not gonna have this uploaded in time for Easter, but you know what, it is what it is. I love that the background on this is green though, and look at the details inside of the bunny. Oh, well if that doesn't give you like some inspo on what to do for this, then. <laughs> But if you don't want to do the Subtle Spring color palette, we're going to pick a pastel color that you can pick from. So I'm going to pick this one right here. And that's pastel blue. Okay, so if you don't want to do that one, you can do pastel blue instead. So this month's card pick collab cards are Subtle Spring, Bunny, and Pastel Blue. So remember, the art theme is definitely mandatory. You can use stickers, decals, water slide decals, um, nail art, whatever you want, uh, dots, glitter, however you want to make a bunny dreams come true. And then just choose whichever color palette you want. So if you want pastel blue, do pastel blue. But if you like the colors flowing in Subtle Spring, which I absolutely do, I might do the Subtle Spring card instead. So those are the three colors we drew. I'm so excited to see everyone's entries for the April Cards Pick collab. I'm sorry about them like going a little too, um, going up a little too late. Entries are due by April 30th. Um, 
but I have been sick and I haven't been able to get everything up in time. Last month we were planning, like finishing up planning the wedding, so we weren't able to do all of that. Getting straight into the Manny design, the colors I'm going to be using are from the April collection and the March collection from Nail Reserve. They sent both of these collections to me and I didn't have time to show them to you guys last month. So I'm going to be using colors from both and I'm excited to mix them all together. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the small almond tips from Soul Dips and I'm gonna be doing this design on those tips. So I love doing press on nails, that's why I have them on this stand and I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm using the softest, lightest pink that came from, I believe the April collection, yes. It's called Away We Go and I'm doing two coats of this pink on every single nail. I felt like it was soft enough to do as a base to where I could do nail art on top of it and the nail art would kind of stand out a little, but it would still look subtle. I was afraid if I did a lighter nude or something more on the sheer side or even on the darker side, that it wouldn't fit into the subtle part of the whole Manny theme for Subtle Spring. So now I'm gonna apply a matte top coat and um, the reason I do this is because I'm gonna do nail art on top of the matte top coat. Life pro tip, if you like doing gel nail art, but you notice when you do the nail art on top of like a, a wet gel polish that your gel polish or your gel art is like kind of like diffusing. It doesn't have those sharp, perfect lines. Use a matte top coat cure that in your lamp and then it's going to give you the perfect surface to do nail art on top of. So I'm applying the matte top coat on top of all of the nails. I applied two coats of Away We Go and then a matte top coat and it's the perfect surface to do what things like French tips or any kind of design that requires you to have more crisp clean lines. So I want to apologize just right now about the blurriness from my camera. It seems like my camera is focusing on the gloves. I should have known better than to wear black gloves in the video. It does do this often whenever I introduce a dark color and it's the primary thing that you can see on the screen. So I do feel like I'm going to be out of focus for the majority of the video and I want to apologize for that for anyone who is like, why isn't this as crisp and as clean? Now I'm going to do the bunny on this nail and I'm just using a dotting tool and painting the head of the bunny and then I'm going to use the dotting tool to put two little dots well above the head that I'm painting so it gives me a reference point on where I should paint the ears and how tall the ears are going to be and I was so out of focus for that that you couldn't even see it and again I'm sorry about this. I am going to work on this to make sure it doesn't happen in future videos but I put the dots as a reference guide and I'm using my nail art brush to glide everything more seamlessly together. Now I'm moving on into a purple French tip. So I did a green French tips earlier in the video and I did a purple bunny and now I'm doing purple French tips. So if you notice the subtle spring card that I drew for the color palette, that one had a lot of green and a little bit of purple and a little bit of orange. So I'm really playing on the greens and the purples together. I feel like these colors go really, really well together. And them paired with the Away We Go base gel polish really are subtle. So I'm keeping it super duper subtle and I'm using this color to basically put little speckles to look like an eggshell design over the French tips and the bunny so that it definitely looks more Eastery but it's still so subtle. Usually you see these speckles in a darker color like black. You don't usually see them in white and I really like that this color was included in the April collection from Nail Reserve because it was just so perfect. I have a black speckled eggshell top coat from a different brand. I know a bunch of brands have them in black, but I didn't have it in white. So now I need to encapsulate the designs. So I'm taking my gel base coat, I'm applying it where um, over everything, gonna kind of let that level out and I'm probably gonna use a thicker top coat to encapsulate everything so it levels out nicely and my nails don't look very thick. 
once everything was nicely encapsulated, I went in with a matte gel top coat and encapsulated that in matte. So I went with that more Eastery vibe and this is what it looks like. And then here's what the Manny looks like outside in much, much better lighting. I promise I'm gonna work on my lighting and my filming situation so it doesn't look like this again. I'm so sorry about the quality of this video. I'm going to work on it. But I think I nailed the subtle spring vibes. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys did Easter manis, don't worry, you can still take part in this collab for the rest of the month, um, especially if you did blue Easter manis or purple and green. So definitely enter into the collab. I would love to see everyone's manis with bunnies. And I, I'm, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.